Alrighty guys, welcome back here for another video. Hope you're all doing great and in today's video we're gonna continue exactly where we left off last time. In the previous video we automated the smelting of copper ores, iron ores in order to make copper plates and iron plates and in this video so we're gonna start by combining and making a main bus but in this video we're also going to start automate some of the basic processes here in the beginning uh, in order to do so we're gonna need a lot of belts and we're probably gonna need a lot of underground belts and splitters as well we're gonna go down here to our little piece of uh, automation here where we make some extra belts we're gonna go grab 546 belts god damn we're gonna make 10 underground belts. I'm gonna make 10 splitters. Of course, this is gonna use a lot of iron plates So we are actually going to go up here and grab some more since we have this all automated here We should have quite a lot and we do have we're just going to grab like one row of iron plates here And then we're gonna move on so I want to leave some room here for future upgrades to the production So we're gonna continue and just pull this off here like so I'm gonna do the same thing here so one thing I really thought of that is good to keep in mind while making your own base that is that we have kind of a little bit of a head start since we have such a big so I'm going to combine all of this here with a few tips and tricks along the way making the main bus uh, I'm gonna start off by just making three rows uh, this is gonna be for the iron uh, this is gonna be for the iron plates we're gonna have three rows for a couple plates as well not gonna need it in the beginning but we are preparing for the future when designing this bus here it's great to leave room between the different resources i'm gonna show you why so we're gonna take the copper here this one is also gonna be a three uh, belt copper run and this is gonna be a three belt iron run here down the bus so the reason being for why I want to leave two spaces in between the bus here like this. Let's say I have a little factory. Let's actually make a assembling machine up here. There we go. Here's our little assembling machine. I have a little factory here and this factory wants some iron plate. So let's say we split this up here like so. There we go. And I want to grab some iron from right around here. Then I will go something like this. Now I know there are perfect pre-made blueprints for... So of course we're gonna talk about balancing and all that later on. So do not worry about it right now. So the reason for leaving two steps here is so now you can go with your underground bells. And you can reach up to this factory. Perfect. So there's also a lot of other resources that we're gonna need. Probably gonna need some bricks. We're probably gonna need some stone. So let's go down here. We're gonna go and we're gonna grab some stone here. Gonna go underneath like so. We're gonna go out like this here. So since we're not going to use too many stones or too many bricks here, we could have them next to each other and not split them off. So let's actually do that. And that is looking pretty perfect. So this is the space I'm going to give it for now. So one little neat thing that you can do in the future is actually remove this little chest here. It's kind of good to have right now. But in the future, you'll probably just run along the belts here. Like, let's say I want some iron plates. I can just hold F. And just pick him up while building this i've actually been thinking about maybe we should build some basic defense here in the beginning just in case we get attacked it would be kind of a pain to not have any defenses at all no turrets no nothing so we're gonna go into turrets we're gonna start the research of course we don't have any science packs we're gonna craft 10 of those it's super easy it's a super basic research we're also gonna research the walls so we're gonna need 10 more additional science packs we're gonna craft 20 Alrighty, the research is now complete we got our turrets we got our walls okay so here we are i extended the main bus just a little bit but now i think it's a great time that we look into automating some of the basic things here in the beginning of the game that you kind of need to get going this is basically to save a shit ton of time in crafting and it's also great for organizing and keeping track of what items you got a lot of and what items you don't have a lot of and really what the amount of resources that you're going to use. So I guess this is automating our defense uh, so that we can expand and keep our base safe. Um, I'm thinking about doing it down here in this little square area 
and of course we're gonna start off by automating our walls. Each wall need five stone bricks. Wait, two walls need five stone bricks and they craft really quickly. So I think we're gonna be fine with just one assembling machine here, right around here. I'm gonna split off the bricks right here, super easy. I'm gonna put a little insulter right here. I'm gonna put an insulter on the other side. And uh, now is a good time to bring out power as well on our main bus. Usually I keep it in the middle here between the iron plates and copper plates. This I know that I can always pull power from here. And this is looking great. Now we need a chest here in order to pick up the walls and of course we need to go into the little assembling machine and pick a wall as a recipe. And here we go, now we're gonna create our walls. We can limit it off to roughly three stacks because I don't think we should produce way more than that right now. So that's what we're going to do. Next thing to automate here is the gun turrets and that is a lot of iron plates and cobble plates per turret as well as 10 iron gear wheels. So as we can see further down in the recipe, we can see that the total amount of raw resources is 40 iron plates and 10 copper plates. The crafting time is eight seconds. So this one takes a little bit longer, but again, it uses so many resources and is so slow to craft. I think we can get away with it just using one assembling machine. So we're gonna build it kind of compact next to the other one. We're gonna go up to our main bus and grab the resources from here. And now we can see exactly why we left the distances between all the runs here on the main bus. In order to create the turret we also need iron gear wheels and we want to keep this here kind of neat and stacked together. We're gonna leave two spaces in between and we're gonna go up uh, right around here instead. We're gonna go underground and up here. This one is gonna go up here, underground here and up here. So looking at this, it might look a little bit messy right now, but we're gonna go and grab an insulter here, insulter here, insulter here, and a long-handed insulter right here. So now we're gonna produce the iron gear wheels here and the turret right here, and I'm gonna give them power and kind of go through what's happening. We're letting the iron pass through under to the turret production, but we're also letting it be picked up here for the iron gear wheel and the copper plates are just being passed underneath using belts. It could be going around but this here is keeping it kind of neat inside of a little square like this, not taking a lot of space. That is pretty neat. Same thing here, this is also not taking a lot of space. I'm gonna do the same thing here and put a little chest right there and now they're looking pretty pretty neat here together. Okay, now we have automated our walls, we have automated our turrets. What we need to do now is automate some ammo. We're gonna put another assembling machine right here and we're gonna pull off some more iron plates for it. There we go, looking good. And this is just super easy. Using the same clean style as before. We're gonna give them power as well. The power kind of looks like a spider web, and that's just the way it is now in the beginning. It's gonna look better when we get better power poles. This is now working, but as we can see, we kind of have some issues delivering enough iron plates. We also forgot to limit off this here to one stack, and I'm gonna limit ammo off to a bunch of stacks, because we're always gonna need a bunch of ammo. We need some more iron plate production. We're gonna go and upgrade this gonna go quite far out and this is exactly why we left some more space here. I'm gonna make myself some more insertals. I'm just gonna pull out like this. And there we go, that is looking pretty good. Earlier we had a look at our iron plate production. It was sitting at around roughly 200. As we can see now, it's slowly rising. Uh, if we have a look at the five seconds, it seems to be stabilizing at around something 400. This is gonna take a minute in order to get to 400, so I guess we can just sit back, relax. If we have a look at this here now, it's way more iron. It's also using way more iron 
and the iron ratio is one to one which means that we might be limited by the amount of iron ores that we mine we're not fully stacking up this belt right here as i said previously you do need a shit ton more iron in the beginning and we can see that clearly here the copper plates are stacking up and the iron plates we do not have enough looking at the one minute production it still seems to be sitting at around roughly 260 and that is limited to our iron ore mining speed also, pressing M, checking the map, we can see the first enemy base appearing right around here. And as we can see, the pollution is starting to close up on it. And when the pollution reaches, they're gonna start attacking. So we need to build a little wall of defense right around here somewhere. And that is exactly what we're going to do. First, I'm going to put down two more, four more minos here for our iron ore so we can keep up gonna give them power of course there we go looking great that is gonna up production you can look at the five second we're sitting at around mining 400 a minute so the actual smelting is gonna speed up as well okay so this is what we have done we have done some basic research in order to get the defense mechanics down we got the walls we got the turrets we got the ammo we got increased iron production and we pulled out our main buzz and created a main buzz here where we, will, where we can pull resources from. We made a little a neat chunk here, just like so, where we are producing the walls, the turrets and the ammo. So in the next video, we're gonna look into defending our base. We're gonna use the walls, the turrets, the ammo and build a nice little system here surrounding the base where the turrets automatically get fed with ammo, but again, Big thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any tips or tricks for me or anyone else watching, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. As always, take care and I'll see you guys next time.